Hello and welcome to another Raggies um, craft beer review or another Raggies beer review. So this is probably the beer review of, of the year. Wow, and that's something to say, you know, from somebody who has literally reviewed um, close to a thousand beers this year, you know, and uh, probably even more than that, you know, if I, if I actually count how many I've reviewed, not that I do. So, last year, my beer of the year was a beer called Lumiere from Bang the Elephant out of Langley Mill, Nottingham. Um, and the funny thing is that I've had some amazing beers this year, you know, uh, top class beers from Vocation, Northern Monk, Neon Raptor, um, and Pussbury slash Castle Rock. And uh, there was a beer that I had at Robin Hood Beer Festival in, in October. First time trying it, and uh, wow. And I've tried a fair few amounts of beers since then. And uh, I actually had this particular beer on keg last week at the Pottle Micro Pub in Beeston, Nottingham. So, it's Lumiere. It's Bang the Elephant. And it's there. Right, here we go. It's a long arse name, to be fair. So it's a Sherry Club. Cross, whiskey barrel aged, cherry chocolate fudge, brownie, ice cream, sundae, imperial dessert style, 13%. So it's aged in two different types of um, a sherry barrel and a whiskey barrel. It does say on it, I will read it because it's, it's relevant to the beer review. Um, so... Age in the 2022 edition of Lumiere in barrels that had been previously used for both whiskey and sherry has elevated what was already a spectacular beer to a whole new level. Sweet chocolate brownie takes centre stage with the dark cherry and sherry flavours working together in the most wonderful of harmonies, a subtle smokiness from the whiskey as a back note complements this thick ice cream sundae imperial stout with each sip leaving you licking your lips in excitement for the next and again you know as beers go yeah so massive friends with um, the Enigma that is Emperor's Brewery and he brews out of their brewery funnily enough and uh, yeah despite his massive teams of brewers and backroom staff <laughs> that he's got yeah so here we go here we go this is it this is the creme de la creme beer reviewers across the UK if you've not had this beer you have never had a, a beer I'm not joking and I'm and I'm looking at all the beer reviewers across the way across the UK and I'm talking real ale craft beer I'm talking beer hooligan I'm talking rampant lion I'm talking hop scene I'm talking Kent beer reviews Mersey beers Bowman beer reviews Simo sips um I'm fucking, I forgot everybody else's name Andy's beer reviews Chris's beer reviews Scott and Wanda and I'm talking all the beer, no idea. I'm talking uh, Dean's beer reviews, um, Paul's beer reviews, and everybody else. Apologies if I forgot your name. If you've never supped this beer, you have never embraced probably the best beer that you'll ever taste. Literally, it's that good. I got the old crummy beard when he was down at the Robin Hood Beer Festival. I said, get your fucking arse over to Rob to bang the elephant, go and get this beer. He got it and he's like, oh. And uh, you know, there's that moment in your life when, you're, when you taste a beer that changes everything. You know, we've all drank beers that are fucking fantastic. And, and you know, when we're trying to bump somebody's brewery up, we think, yeah, this is a great beer. Well, this is that beer that is actually 
great. This is the king of beers. So we're talking a black port, we're talking a dark tan head, quite a big dark tan head actually. Uh, this is room temperature, this is at its best. Keg, it's great. Room temperature, it's beyond anything. And like it says brownie on the nose, the brownie does hit you straight away to be fair. It's literally massive amount of brownie. Touch of sherry in the background on that nose. Oh, bloody hell. For everybody across all the groups out there, the beer forums, UK Craft Beer Forum, Stout, Nerd Beer Lovers, whatever you call yourselves, and, and everybody else, have you had this? If you haven't, get your bloody horses to the shops, left field beer, and um, optimism, adventurebeer.co.uk. Get yourself to these shops, get yourself a can of this while you can, get yourself to your, get yourself on untapped, find out where it's at, get it before it's gone. It won't last forever. This is this is this is this year's brew. Next year, if I'm talking to Michael and Nigel, and you damn well know um, that I am, and uh, you know. I don't see the guys often, and uh, they are bang the elephant. And they are the, they are guys with the tutelage of Simon, the ex head Blue Monkey Brewer, um, in charge of the Bunny Hop in Langley Mill. And I'm talking about Damon from Emperor's Brewery. You know, these are their these are their tutor tutors, and they are learning off the masters of Imperial Stouts and progressing even further and doing things that we all know. Those who know, Vince Lee from Nottingham Camera knows this. Um, these guys are the next generation of master imperial stout makers. Make no bones about this. And yeah, I've had a beer tonight, but I'm still bloody sober. Uh, make no bones about this. These guys are, you know, next generation beer makers these guys are going to be there 10 years time you're going to say fucking hell that ragged he knows his shit I fucking do know me shit and uh, i'm telling you this is one of the best beers you'll ever taste in your life so let's get on with the beer review i've talked shit for long enough fucking yes and now i'm in the beer review mode so let's do Beer time. Join in. Follow. Listen. Enjoy. And get your fucking arse on that buy button. So, big brownie on the nose. Hint of sherry in the background. It's complexity. It's fucking through the roof on this. There's a cherry. There's a hint of that risky element starting to flow in. Cream. There's a fudge coming through. This, it's an exploration. It's an extravaganza going off in your mouth. Trust me, this is a beer. You may or may not like barrel aged beers. There's barrel aged that are overly, you know, the, and then there's barrel aged that that bring out what is the best of barrel aged. This is that beer, this is that beer that's going to tantalise your taste buds, that's going to take you to the next level. And I don't even work for these fuckers, you know. I'm friends with them. Doesn't mean that I can't say anything I want to. You know, remember this. Oh. That is just immense. I can't remember for the life of me what the what I mean. I know it's just sh uh, sherry, ex sherry and whiskey barrels, but wow. Next year they've got to go bigger. They've got to go further, I suppose, and have maybe different iterations of Lumiere. 
But Lumiere, when you say cognac, brandy, sherry, whiskey, and do a Lumiere, four versions of Lumiere, if not more. Triple sack barrels. Um, the base beer is literally the best beer you're ever going to taste in your life. Don't believe me? You've got to try it. Yeah? I'll trust you now. Every single person that I've recommended uh, to this beer has... Um, get off my screen. I had a comment come on the screen then because I'm in the house and... Uh, Oh, that cherry and the ice cream flavours. Oh, it's what makes beer reviewing the best. It's it's for me. This this is why I've waited a whole year to embrace the next version of Lumiere. Last year's beer of the year, and I've tasted some amazing beers. You know. All year long, I'm, I'm trying new beers. Whatever's out there that I can afford, I've been buying and, and tasting. And uh, I've drank some amazing beers from the best breweries out there. And literally, even going into this week at Christmas, I've, I've had amazing beers from Amundsen, Emperor's Brewery, literally over the last few months from the Unwrapped uh, Lervig, you know, the list of breweries that I've had beers from is outstanding. Uh, and some very, very great local breweries, like the likes of Urban Chicken Alter Ego, Castle Rock, uh, Black Iris, you know, uh, Liquid Light. Um, but there's something Nottingham has got, um, Nottinghamshire slash Derbyshire, uh, is amazing breweries. This is one of those breweries without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, wow, this Lumiere. You're talking 10 or 11 quid a can. Yeah, yeah, it ain't cheap, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But if you're a beer connoisseur and uh, you're getting something that's been aged in barrels, you know, so it's costing a, a good amount of money to produce it in the first place. Uh, and the time spent in barrels, which is why barrel aged stuff costs more, you know, apart from the fact that the ABV bumps the price up anyway. Um, a 2% beer doesn't cost the same as a 12% beer. Why? Because of the fucking cost involved, um, you know. But, uh, wow. I've had this both cold, keg temperature, and I've had this at room temperature. Room temperature is absolutely king. You know, make no mistake about this, room temperature is king. Both the barrels shine through lovely. Brownie, cherry, vanilla. It's complexities into overdrive. We are talking about the one of the best experiences of beer that you'll ever see. Um, can I replicate this myself? I'd love to. I'd love to. You know, don't think I will. Um, could I try? Yeah, I'd love to try. You know, uh, I have great admiration for both um, Michael Shipman, Michael Shipman, who's the um, and Nigel Patton, they're both the brewers and the owners of Bang the Elephant um, and their families. And, uh, and Nigel's daughter, good evening. And I uh, hope you're well. And uh, I hope both families are okay. You know, they, they like most breweries across the country, they've gone through adversities. Uh, Covid has been a storm. Yeah, yeah, we all know what sort of storm. And uh, yeah, um, as a beer reviewer, as a fan of beers, as a fan of local breweries, a person that tries to do my very best for local breweries, you know, um, and I hope local breweries understand where I'm coming from, you know, uh, in that respect. Um, 
but um, an amazing brewery. The best beer of 2022. Yeah, make no bones about it. This, I've had it, this is the fourth time now I've had it. In different locations at Nottingham Beer Festival. Um, although they call it Robin Hood Beer Inside a Festival because that's Nottingham camera. Yeah, don't get me started. Um, I love I love Sidon, mind you, but it's 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 all the political correctness that pisses me off. Um, and I've had this also at the Potland Micro Pub. I've had it at Bang the Elephant Brewery, and now I've got it in front of me. And look at that! It's it's an amazing beer. I'm not joking. To every beer reviewer in the country, if you can get hold of a can of this, please do so. You know. Don't just watch my beer review and think, Jesus, Raggy thinks that's great. Go and get yourself a can. Find these breweries out. Contact Bang the Elephant. Say, where can I get this beer, mate, lads? Yeah, if you're if you're real ale craft beer or craft beer channel, you know, you are the biggest of the of the, of the beer reviewers out there. You know, uh, I'm the best. Hey, I'm only joking, but uh, yeah. But you're the biggest, you're the ones with the widespread appeal. Get yourself a can, go find, go buy, and get yourself a can. You know, trust me, you'll love this beer. If you're a fan of beer, and I do mean a fan of beer, not someone trying to, you know, we're not talking about people who are trying to get their best out of the industry, we're talking about people who are fans. If you're a fan of beer, this will blow your bloody mind. Yeah. And I'm saying it, and I'm saying it to everybody out there. In any case, this is Raggy's Beer Reviews, and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the can. What's here? It's quite a bit left in, actually. Fair play. And uh, here it is. Beer of the Year 2022 from Raggy's Beer Reviews. Um, you won't believe what's in the top 10. Uh, I may do a video of my top 10 beers, but I don't think I will actually. I don't want to put any brewery down, and I, and I, you know, I do want to support all breweries, but this beer is my brewery beer of the year. Two years on the run now. Yeah, we'll move Tanny Rebel out of the way because it's not their beer. Um, and it's the reason because I'm, the, the, the glass is in the shed and my decent glass are broke. But um, here we go, Beer of the Year 2022. Outstanding beyond anything you've seen. And I do mean this, you know, truly outstanding. Another version needs to be made. Um, obviously, Michael and Nigel will do their thing. And keep doing it, lads. You know, you are on the top of the beer industry at the moment. You might not be the top as in sales and all that thing, but on brewing the beers that shatter everything, you're there. You're there already. Uh, I know it. Emperor's Brewery knows it. And a lot of people in, in the craft beer community knows this. So, Lumiere, aged in sherry and whiskey barrels. So 13% cherry, chocolate, Brownie fudge, bloody ice cream sundae. Yeah, sherry, whiskey, barrel aged, cherry, chocolate, fudge, brownie, ice cream sundae. Imperial desserts that 13%. Out of five, the first ever beer on my channel to break 4.85 out of five. There we go. Wow. I knew. It was better than the the other bang the elephant beers, and that's three bang the elephant beers that are in my top ten beers of the year, and uh, that tells you something. Can you beat these beers? It's going to be interesting. Massive thank you to everybody who's watched the channel over the last year. What a bloody stunning beer! Thank you for watching. See you soon, if you can. Get yourself one of these. Even if you have to pay through the nose, get yourself one. Cheers all.